one of the real things I wanted to do when I started these videos was share lessons uh, that come with a bit of experience, not necessarily that I've experienced just myself, but from all other people I meet. And that's why I try to meet so many people and ask them their stories and ask them about their mistakes um, so I can learn from them. And yeah, as I said, when I, when I started this idea of videos, I wanted to share as many lessons as I've either learned myself or from others uh, for the benefit of entrepreneurs following in similar footsteps so they can learn lessons at my expense and accelerate their journeys um, from there. So anyway, on that note, I was having a chat earlier with somebody and it's amazing when you're having a chat with somebody and you, you, you're just, your insights are screaming up at you about something that's so abundantly obvious. Um, but it wasn't obvious for them, it's really obvious for me based on a whole load of these chats that I've been having. So the point is, I've kind of noticed a trend when I'm meeting young entrepreneurs and older entrepreneurs. The older entrepreneurs are playing the long game, they're very, very focused and they're doing really well. On average, of course, there's exceptions. And similarly, on the younger side of things, the younger guys aren't necessarily doing well because hell, they're young, they're starting their careers. Of course, there's exceptions. But what I notice about the youngers is that they're not focused. They're doing loads of things. And they're constantly playing this short game of quick wins. Versus the olders are constantly playing a long game where their wins are carved out over months or even years. Hell, I was speaking to somebody in their 70s a couple of months ago and they were literally saying, in two years time, in five years time, and in 10 years time, and I was kind of like, well, you, you know what was thinking in my head. I just, I, I was amazed that somebody so late in their career was thinking so long-term. And on the flip side of that, you're talking to young people and they're like, oh yeah, in six months I'm gonna be worth a million and in two years I'm gonna be worth a hundred million. That's just not gonna happen except in absolutely exceptional circumstances. But I don't think when you're starting off in business it's about playing the exceptions. I think if you learn from the averages and the norms, you'll do far, far better. So anyway, the message or the lesson that I'm getting is that focus is so unbelievably important. Uh, playing in the long term and not getting caught up in the short term, similarly, so unbelievably important. And trying not to, you know, thinking it's really, really cool to be doing so many things all at once. Because the fact of the matter is that you're, if you're spread really thinly, you won't ever be able to do yourself justice. But if all your, all your skills, all your expertise are centered around one given opportunity, sorry about that, it will be an impossibility for you not to actually show yourself off at your best. So do yourself that justice and that credit and focus down. Don't get caught up in the short term focus on things in the long term, learn from every short term instance and kick ass.